What's going on, fellow citizens? I've been uh, playing with that voice attack program that allows you to uh, use voice commands in Star Citizen. So I thought I would record the tutorial using voice commands and then talk a little bit about it afterwards. So uh, please enjoy. Everyone knows me as Gilly. I've served in six squadrons and qualified on almost a dozen ships. So if you put in the time, I'll get you on the path to dogfighting with the best of them. We're going to set you up in the ship on the landing pad to your right. Hustle over. Let's get going. Enable free look. Aegis combat assist activated. Systems green. All right, first things first. Take a look around your cockpit and familiarize yourself with the layout. It's imperative to quickly find and access specific controls. Last thing you want to be doing in a scrap is bringing up the instructions. Begin scan. You'll notice the majority of your systems are disabled. I'll be controlling when they're on and offline to simulate potential scenarios and combat situations. Let's get ready for takeoff. I'll do this step by step to show you how it's done. Look over at me and watch what I do. Systems, check. Engines, check. Tower, permission for launch. Clear for launch. Copy that, Tower. All right, first I want to lift vertically until I'm just clear of the landing pad. Now that I'm clear, I can straight forward onto the taxiway. Now I square my ship up with the ceiling doors, ready for a vertical takeoff. Once you're aligned, the tower will open the doors. Disable free look. That's it. Once I clear out, it'll be your turn. Ready? I'm enabling your systems. We'll monitor your progress from up here. Request launch permission. Clear for launch. Nice. You're clear of the pad. Okay, now straight forward onto the taxiway. If you need it, the tower should have lit up your path. Make sure you don't pitch or roll. It'll be tough to get back into proper alignment. Don't align yourself with the middle of the doors. You'd be surprised how many crews forget that the cockpit is not the center of the ship. The tower will open the doors once you're lined up. You're lined up. Enable free look. Alignment's looking solid. Hold. That's a good line, pilot. Disable free Great look. Great job. I haven't seen many pull one off on the first try. I've just enabled your targeting system. Use it to target me. Target friend. Target friend. Good. When pursuing a target, you'll want to keep your speed as close to theirs as possible. Give it a shot. Make sure I'm targeted and hit match speed. Match speed. Great. You're locked on. Remember, this is an autopilot, so you still have to steer. But you'll notice that once you're locked, your computer will continue to monitor my speed and adjust. It doesn't matter if I speed up slowly or stop fast. Enable free look. That, my friend, is the Spire. Isn't she a beauty? Disable free look. Moving on. Now this is my favorite part of training. The Axial Roll. <laughs> ha 
are so much fun. Rolling is a great way to orient your ship to fit through tight gaps or evade incoming fire. Now you give it a go. Roll right. On me, rookie. Roll right. Nice one. Well, you seem to be able to handle your ship, so let's see if you can handle a bit of combat. Check your radar. You should have a contact. Don't worry. It's just a training drone. It handles just like the real thing, but its weapons are less than lethal. Saying that, they still pack a punch, so try not to take any hits if you don't have to. Use your targeting system to quickly target the closest enemy. Target enemy. Okay, now look at the top right of your hut. You should see the target displayed. This will show real-time damage, shield status, and a few other things. Shields are drawn as panels floating around the ship. They'll shrink as they weaken until they disappear completely. At that point, your shots will hit the hull and cause lasting damage. Now your weapons are online. Line up your target and fire when you're ready. Good shot. See its shields weakening on your hut? Yeah, it didn't like that. Mash speed? Don't finish it off. Now you have a target. You'll have extra aim ridicules. Those are predicted impact Lock target. points or pips. They'll show you where to shoot to hit a moving target. Shields. Notice Fire you have missile. multiple pips with varying lag. Each of those my missiles indicates up here. a weapon on your ship. So wait a second. The computer's trying to compensate for the varying speeds between your ballistic Getting ahead of myself and over energy here. projectiles. Mm-hmm. Pips, got it. You're taking hits. Check your heart for shield and damage status. Good hit. Keep firing. Watch it, rookie. There you go. Keep on the pressure. No shields for you. Its shields are down. Finish it off with a missile. Lock missile target. Locking sensors are on the nose. Lock. So keep your target in fire missile. long enough to lock on. Lock target. Fire missile. Good kill. On me, rookie. Target friend. Boost thrusters. Let's move on. Uh oh. Looks like he had a friend. Take a look in your review camera. Engage rear view. He's got Player. Target enemy. Bash speed. Countermeasures are still online. Use them. Last missile was heat seeking, so equip your flares. Helpful tip don't boost after dropping one. Boosted thrusters are much hotter than a flare. Flares have a short lifetime. Don't be too quick to fire Shields. them. Another pro tip, countermeasures are fired backwards, so never fly the missile head on, launch countermeasure, and expect it to work. Careful! These ships aren't cheap. Flare. Shot shield. locked. Under Missiles fire. incoming. Flare drop. Decouple. Oh, that didn't work. Shields recharging. Shields up. I have to wait for them to fire missiles at me. Come on. He's got locked. Flare. He's incoming. Good. You got your guns back. But I'll need more time to get your missiles up. If the drone gets behind you, enter decouple mode to disengage your main engines and allow you to spin your ship around while retaining your original vector. 
It's a great way to dissuade your pursuer, but make sure you've checked your path ahead first. Give it a try. Just remember to disengage when you're done. He's got locked. Flare. He's incoming. Stop are taking hits. Check your heart for shield and damage status. Decouple. Couple. Shields up. Boost thrusters. Boost thrusters. He's got flare. Missiles incoming. You got your missiles back. Take it out. Lock target. Missile lock. Oh, well, take it easy, missile. Good kills. We're heading back to the landing pad to restock and refuel for the final part of your training. Target friend. Rookie. Boost thrusters. Boost thrusters. On me, let's go! I'm coming, I'm coming. You did good back there, kid. Let me get Match you. speed. Commander fan. Strange. Whoops, I was still in decoupled. Should be close enough. Deploy landing gear. Once landing mode's active, your heart's going to swap out your combat systems for landing specific functionality. You can cycle through available landing pads the same as cycling through targets. Once you've targeted a landing pad, request permission to land. Go Fine. ahead and pick a landing Jesus, pad. guys, stop talking. Find parking. Request permission to land. The radar is replaced by the landing system. It'll guide you to your pad and help you perform a safe landing. You can use the automatic ETL landing procedure or do the whole thing manually. Make sure your ship stays within the bounds of the pad and keep your eye on your pitch and roll. Speaking of pitch and roll. Park. Touchdown. Great work. While we're waiting, feel free to take a look at your ship setup. see your weapon groups, shield configuration, and power distribution. I wouldn't mess around with them during training. Display HUD. View weapons. View power. View shield. Return to overview. Close HUD. Topped off. Let's get back out there. Take off when you're ready. Launch complete. Landing gear retracted. Think you could stay on my tail? Target friend. If you need to get up Boost to top speed in a hurry, try boosting. Boost thrusters. You can also use it to overpower your maneuvering thrusters in order to take tighter corners. Race you to the spire. Boost thrusters. 
Hold on. I've got contacts inbound. Contact. Vandal fighter. Get ahead. Target enemy. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. All your systems are active. This is a live fire encounter. Target Watch enemy. Target. Copy that. I got the other. Good luck. This Boost thrusters, lock target. Missile, lock. Fire missile. Lock target. Missile. Lock. Boost thrusters. Target enemy. We've got more hostiles in town. Looks like there's a clave in the mix. That glaive's a recognized ace. Enemy designation is tank. Flare. We're gonna have to work together to take it down. So target the glaive under fire. We're taking hits. Check your heart. Boost thrusters. Damage status. Ooh. Flare. Got the wrong one. Woo! Flare. Lock target. Fire missile. Flare. Good kill. I think he died. All right. You're clear to engage the rest. Good luck. Lock target. Opportunity time to fire missiles when they're turning around, coming back at you. Just don't catch up for now. Fire missile. Well, that might not be a good time. Oh, waste a missile. And lock target. Lock target. Can't say and, it'll fuck up the voice command. Fire missile. Lock target. No need. Target friend. Danger, radiation critical. erratic power spikes from your ship. They must have hit your power plant. Your ship's loaded with military intel, so we can't let it fall into enemy hands. You'll have to initiate self-destruct before you eject. Initiate self-destruct. Eject. 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 Come on, bail Eject. out! Get out of there! Cutting it close there, kid. I like to live dangerously. Let's get you back to base. First round's on me. Thanks for watching, guys, and maybe a couple of gals. Uh, I thought the voice commands were, were pretty fun. I mean, I was totally nerding out and dorking out about them when I was making them and then playing a couple times without recording, having way too much fun. Uh, but, you know, you can kind of imagine how advantageous it would be in the actual game uh, or even in a dogfighting scenario in terms of changing your shields around or performing other tasks without having to do anything other than just speak to your computer. So, pretty cool feature to, uh, you know, use in tandem with Star Citizen. Pretty cool program. Uh, if you're interested, the program is called Voice Attack, and it taps into the uh, speech recognition programs found on, like, Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, but you can get more details about it at voiceattack.com, and I'll include any other pertinent information in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys in the skies.